what a start Inside out and upside down No stress, I'ma clean up this mess La Hi everyone, it's Lee here. Thanks for spending a few minutes with me today. Um, what I'm going to show you is my creation for the June challenge for the Makers Creative Collaboration. What I want to tell you before I show you the book though is um, this is a, a video hop so at the end of my video there will be a link to another video for someone else who's involved in this so if you click on that you'll go you'll um, automatically see the next person's creation and then at the end of their video there's another link and you click on that and you go to the next person so on and so forth and that way you get to see everybody's beautiful work so this is my book so I've got things that I found inside my house things that I found outside my house and things that I found out about I've created six pages in my concertina book I recently had a big clean out and moved from one room to another in um, in the house and it was amazing what I found <laughs> when I when I started unpacking the room so let me show you what I've done so I've got a, a tie that is a painter's drop sheet or a sheet that we used when we painted the house so it's got splashes of house paint and all sorts of stuff on it and um, I just tore it into a strip and I dyed it with some distress ink so that's my closure my pages are all held together with these little ties of the same fabric so there's one on each page like that and I'll just open this out so you can see what the outside looks like so there's a, also a strip of the paper I'm oh, sorry the cloth that runs all the way through the book and these beads which is another thing that I found so I'm, I, a while ago I made a whole box full of um, paper beads and they're all been sewn on and that is a continuous uh, length of string that runs right the way through the whole book so it's one continuous piece of string and I backstitched the, the little beads on uh, so you can see where it went through to come into the next one the reason these little tabs are here on the top is because I had originally uh, designed the book a different way so it was three and three so it opened out and up but it was too clumsy I couldn't get it to you know like work easily but this way works better all the papers are runoffs except for this this one at the beginning so, that, so that's an actual print but these are all where I've cleaned my brayer off and add a little few things to it when I've been gel printing and they've all been momagamied they all had that on that then uh, treated with distress ink distress oxide I should say and the last little touch I put on the outsides is just a bit of string yeah, so these tabs actually held originally would were holding the page above it together and I just cut through them so I'll go to the front page so <laughs> as you can see I found lots of different things so I've got bark here and here I've got a feather so another feather there um, I've got some gum nuts that I picked up in the park all of these beads and clear sequins and things uh, and the charms were all stuff that I found that I'd forgotten that I even had because I went through a stage of making boho beads so of course I had to buy every packet of beads and things that I could get my hands on then when I open the front page okay so all of these background pages are out of uh, an art journal so I'm not sure of the weight but what I did was I spread a really thick layer of gesso on top of it and then all the um, little colors in there I'll bring it up a bit closer so you can see all that coloring in the background is distress oxide now these things this is something that I found out how to do they're butterfly transparencies obviously <laughs> but how they were made was I printed a butterfly onto cellophane paper and then I covered it in multiple layers of medium 
and then when it was dry I was able to peel it off and I had a transparent butterfly so that's what all those three are there's some more of the beads uh, I found my dies so that was another thing that I found when I was tidying up my room or moving it from one to the other so I thought I've had a whole heap of die cuts and I decided to put put them in include it and I moved to the second page um, same background a little bit more oxide on this one there's actually three dragonflies in this one so the third one is right behind this now what this is here are needles of a casuarina tree which are trees that you see a lot of in coastal areas here and I've glued that in between two layers of tissue paper and that's a head of a grass and that one was another grass seed that I put between layers of tissue paper these dragonflies I they're die cuts so they were cut out of uh, runoff pages the same sort of stuff as I used for my covers so that's my page two and I just stuck a clear sequin on each of them so we go to the next page I've got another transparent butterfly made the same way as I made the other ones I found a whole bag of brown buttons so I thought I'd chuck a few of them in there I've got another grass head there that's set in between tissue paper and some bark and a leaf die cut uh, some other beads I found and then I had this little bag of these blue rocks I'm not sure what they are they do have a, a hole in them so you can make them you know you could have threaded them onto something so I've got bark there I've got a feather and some sequins I've splattered some gold watercolor paint onto these as well actually sorry no it's it's acrylic so the next page is this one so I've got a bit more of the casuarina needles there I put a little bit of stitching on there with some embroidery thread just roughly I just wanted everything to look quite organic that's a fern leaf that I covered in acrylic medium several layers and waited till it was dry and then peeled it off I've got fragments of some of the bark that I've used in other places in the in the book and this is a, another die cut the, the fifth page is got lots of feathers on it so this one I really liked the way the texture on the background paper turned out as I can't remember how I did it I pressed something flat onto it and just lifted it up and it created this awesome texture so we've got lots of feathers on this page some bark again so these are this bark is off paper bark trees another die cut and some of the little uh, transparent sequins I just like the way they they look uh, rainbow colored sort of thing when you get them in the right light and then the last page in the book well, let me just fold this get it out of the way so this is one of my favorites um, that was another experiment I was doing with some um, jelly prints and butterflies and lots of matte medium some more die cuts some more bark and I found these discs uh, I think they came off uh, like a little oriental decoration of some sort so that's yeah just bits and pieces I just like the way that looked okay so when the book is closed up or you can stand it up it'll stand up by itself uh, and when it's closed it's quite chunky it's got those tabs on the top the accidental tabs you can see where the joins are and then if you're going to open it this way you've each page has got that piece of cloth across the and these handmade handmade beads paper beads okay and back to the cover again so that is my creation for the makers creative group run by Mariah from PM Artist Studio. Don't forget to click on the link at the end of this video so you can see the next video. Thanks for watching and hooroo from Australia. Bye!